All right. Now, uh, Julie, I want to talk to you about your uh, day job. I know you said that you were, you were, you were laid off at the moment, but uh, for everybody out there, Julia is a geologist. And uh, the funny thing was, I actually, uh, back at uh, July 2019, UFC 239, Julia made her debut. I actually was in Vegas. I was uh, covering the fights for, I work for a TV station. In case everyone doesn't know this, I, I work for a TV station as well here in uh, Pennsylvania. I'm actually laid off at the moment too due to the coronavirus pandemic. But anyway, I was out there on the coverage that night. And uh, the day before the fight that night, there was an earthquake in Las Vegas. Julie, do you remember this? You were like the woman of the hour that night. When you came back for your post-fight <laughs> interview, yeah, okay, they asked you about your fight, but everybody was asking you questions about the earthquake. Do you remember that? The good Lord had blessed me with my 15 minutes of fame, and I was so excited to be able to tell people like how to properly react. And there were actually two big earthquakes there, and I was super excited about them. I started searching like where it happened, what fault it was, and... Um, it was just, it was so cool, so much fun. Every time I go into Vegas, I geek out on the outcrops and I'm, you know, yelling at my husband, like, look at that, it's so cool. Can you imagine this was all underwater and blah, blah, blah. And it's, he's like, yeah, I know, I lived here for seven years. <laughs> but like every time I just, I fall in love with the scenery. I fall in love with the outcrops, the rocks. It's just so beautiful to me and so inspiring. So I did get my 15 minutes of fame with my geology. And um, actually, I was, uh, my manager made a spoof with South Park. And um, they uh, used my likeness in one of their episodes. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Okay, so is this something what Rand, because Randy Marsh, obviously, in South Park, he's a geologist. Did you have something to do like with one of his scenes? Was that it? So the um, the spoof that my manager had put together, uh, yes, it did have Randy on it. Um, but in the episode, it was uh, they used my likeness in uh, uh, one of the episodes, but it wasn't uh, geology re related. Ah, uh, okay, I got gotcha. you. So one other thing too from that card, uh, I forgot. Yeah, there was actually the, the two earthquakes. Did you happen to feel them? Because I, me and my family, we didn't. And the feeling, like we were actually out there on, it worked out like where the fights were happening around our vacation. So I kind of tied work in with our vacation. So I was actually at uh, the Gwen Stefani concert and I have text messages galore coming. I'm like, hey, I saw there was an earthquake in Vegas. I know that you're there. And I'm like, I'm not feeling anything. I'm at a Gwen Stefani concert right now, actually. So everything's going on <laughs> as normal here. <laughs> No, yeah, we actually, we did feel it. So one of them was, I think, during the day and um, everything was shaking and we were by some uh, some buffet and there were slot machines. And so things started moving back and forth. And my husband, oh, he was such a jerk. He's like, oh my God, everyone run. And I was like, no, no, everyone calm down. It's okay, just stay away from the walls. And um, I actually helped move someone in a wheelchair and everything. And uh, it, it was totally fine, but... My husband's such a butthead sometimes. <laughs> what are husbands for, though, right? So right. Uh, one other thing, though, with the – or a few other things here with geology I have, just want to ask you about because I, I find it interesting that you do this. Uh, what makes you want to be a geologist in the first place? Like, how does one come to this, like, career path, like, coming out of high school? You're just like, oh, I love the beauty of the world so much that I want to study it further? Um, actually, so I was in uh, math and science and engineering program through, all throughout high school, and I, I was doing engineering programs uh, in colleges during my summers. So I've always, and that um, engineering program throughout high school was focused on the oil and gas industry. And so I knew I wanted to be in the oil and gas industry, and I actually started my collegiate career as a chemical engineer. But... I transferred to universities, and so I finished my uh, degree in geology, which is a class that I started taking while I was in high school. So um, honestly, I fell in love with not communicating with people. <laughs> um, I, it's the same thing with MMA. You don't have to talk to anyone. You just punch them in the face, right? Uh, I'm actually a little socially awkward, and I don't, um, I don't really know how to deal in in social settings. And so uh, being a, a business person would not <laughs> really be in my wheelhouse. Uh, it was either this or probably be an accountant because I'd be dealing with numbers and not people. <laughs> but yeah, um, so 
I like uh, licking rocks, I guess. <laughs> so I know you said that you transferred universities. Where did you start out? Where did you end up finishing? I started out at the University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana. And I quickly realized that the Midwest wasn't for me at that point in my life. And so I finished my schooling at UC Santa Cruz. Go Slugs. <laughs> I'm a big Notre Dame football fan there. So how about that? I thought when you I, cause I, I, when you were said US or I thought you were going to say USC there for a second when you said uh, uh, Santa Cruz and I was like you can't transfer to those schools after uh, Notre Dame's football program and US, USC they're two rivals so I'm glad it wasn't Southern Cal. <laughs> yeah, I know. I probably would have been lynched. <laughs> I, I would hope not. That's a little extreme, uh, Julie. Though I have to ask since you're I know you're laid off. You're doing the whole pro athlete thing now. Do you plan on going back and being a full-time geologist when things settle down, or are you enjoying being able to focus on your mixed martial arts craft and, and focusing all your time to being a professional athlete? So I am looking at an opportunity where I would still be able to use my degree, and um, I would be able to kind of make my own hours. Um, so I don't know. I'm looking at my options. I'm, I'm not going to fight for the rest of my life. Uh, I definitely want to start a family. So I need to look at the longevity of my career, uh, both in and out of the cage. So I think I have a good solid like five years left in me, um, depending on where my career takes me in, in MMA. But uh, I am I would love to get back and, you know, work behind a desk. I love uh, I love the data. And I love being useful. So I'm probably going to be working still somehow, some way. But as far as whether it be in the oil and gas industry, I'm not sure. It's uh, pretty tumultuous. And I got a lot of gray hairs from it. 